This video will show you how to use a few of the STAR 360 reports to gather the data you need to plan instruction. The reports can be located from the main dashboard. You can access the reports one of two ways, by clicking on STAR Reading and then choosing Reports, or by starting with the Reports tile and then choosing STAR Assessment. In this presentation, we're going to look at four of the useful STAR Assessment reports. The first report we're going to discuss is the Instructional Planning Class Report. When you click on this tile, and then select the word Classes in order to filter by the classes you want the report to run. You may need to select Clear All first so that you can start clean with the classes you want to choose. Choose the classes you want to look at and then Save Selection. Third, you will click the Update Report button. The report data will run on the bottom of your screen. You will need to scroll down to see the information or you can click the PDF button in the upper right corner to generate a PDF of the data. This is an easier way to look at the data. The Instructional Planning Class Report gives you a holistic view of your class data. At the top, you see the latest results for the most recent administration of the STAR 360 test. It gives you the median scores, the low, and the high. It also provides specific skill information broken into categories that align with the TEKS strands. You'll notice that some of the skills have been identified with an oval that says focus skill. These skills would be a good place to start with reteaching and ensuring that these things are on your pacing calendar as they will get you the most bang for your buck with your students. So to review, the Instructional Planning Class Report gives you a holistic view at a particular class's data, including an overview of the scaled scores and percentile ranks, but most importantly, skill focus areas within four of our TEAK strands. You can use these focus skills to guide future instruction. The next report we're going to discuss is the State Standards Mastery Class Report. Filter the data you want to see in the same way as the previous report by clicking Classes and then selecting the classes you want to see, save your selection, and then click the Update Report button. The report data will populate on the screen and you will need to scroll down to see it or click on the PDF button to generate the PDF of the report. For this particular report, I definitely recommend generating the PDF as individual student data will be broken onto separate pages. This is an example of what one student's data would look like. It spans two full pages of information. The state standards are broken into groups by strand. And within each strand, you can see the specific SEs that the student was tested on. The percentage at the far end of each of the SEs shows you the percentage of mastery that the student has in this particular SE. If you choose not to generate the PDF and you look at the data on the screen, the student names will be listed along the left, represented by the gray boxes on this screen, and you will need to scroll right to see all of the different strand categories. This can be a nice way to look at the information holistically to see in which SEs your students are weak and where as a class they might be strong. So use this data to see the percentage of mastery that your students have on the state standards. You get individual student data when you generate the PDF, and you can use this information to identify student strengths and weaknesses for use in grouping, reteaching, and teacher-focused tutoring. The third report we're going to look at is the STAR Student Progress Monitoring Report. Unlike the Instructional Planning Report, this report gives you individual student data for each of the administrations of the STAR 360. Filter the information like you did the other reports by selecting Classes, then choosing the individual or group of classes you want to see, keeping in mind you may need to clear all before you start, and then Save Selection and Update Report. Scroll down to view the information on the screen or click the PDF to have a PDF generated for this report. You will see a colored data point 
for each administration that this student has done of the STAR 360. Over time, you will see multiple data points for each administration of the STAR 360. And at this point, I want to point out to you that you aren't just limited to offering the STAR 360 three times a year. You can offer the STAR 360 to your students in between those window times so that you are gathering good data on how instruction is going with the students and if targeted interventions are being successful. If instead of viewing the reports with the STAR Enterprise Scale Score, you can change the scale to a Lexile Scale so that you can view a student's Lexile levels on the report data. So use this STAR Student Progress Monitoring Report to gather individual student data to see growth over time. The next report we're going to look at is the STAR Diagnostic Report. This also is an individual student data report. Filter the information in the same way we have filtered the other reports that we've seen in this presentation. The information will populate on the screen and you will need to scroll down to see it. Or again, you can click on the PDF button in the upper right corner to generate a PDF of the individual student data. Each student's data will be generated on its own page, which makes it really easy to print and use the information. The colored bar at the top shows you where that student falls along the range of intervention needs. Students in the yellow and the red sections are in need of RTI. Students in the blue section, you want to keep an eye on their scores, and students at benchmark or above benchmark are students that you want to consider how you can push them to even greater growth. The student's instructional reading level also shows on this screen, as well as their percentage of mastery on skills in the different domains at their grade level. Their Lexile range is down near the bottom of the page, and you can see the test duration and fidelity information telling you how long it took this student to take the most recent administration of the STAR 360. Especially for those students who only took a couple of minutes to complete it and scored really low, you may want to pay attention to that and have them retake the test to see if they just rushed through it. Because in the administration windows, students are given the STAR 360 without any accommodations, you may want to have the students retake the test outside the windows with accommodations turned on. This can help you identify to the extent that the accommodations are helpful for the student. This information is really useful for ARD and 504 meetings, for selecting sustained silent reading books, for checking their test fidelity, and to give you an overall snapshot of their RTI needs. There are a lot of very useful reports in the reporting screen, but these four are the ones that we wanted to cover in this section because they will get you started with some different looks at the data to help you plan instruction. One more report we want to show you quickly is the Monitor Student Mastery Dashboard for Reading. All student grouping starts from this report. Grouping is important to provide targeted reteaching, small group activities, RTI tracking, or any other teacher-focused tutoring that you might do. Information is filtered a little bit differently on this report. Once you click on the tile, you will use those blue pull-downs to select the students that you want to see and choose the mastery of domains for the grade level that you want to look at. Once you've done that, click on Manage Groups. You won't have any groups to start with, so click on the blue Create New Groups button and then select the classes that you want to group together. Once you do those two things, click Create Groups. The student names will populate along the left of the information. You will be able to see each student's scaled score and percentile rank. The report defaults to making two groups for your students. More than likely, you will want to have more than just two groups in your classes. You can add groups by clicking the blue Add button, which will add more columns and more group names to the report. To put a student in each group, 
Just click on the round radial button in the column that you want that student placed in the group. Once you've made your groups, for any of the reports I showed you, you can now filter by groups to see the data for that particular group of students. This is especially helpful because once you've provided targeted teaching to a group of students, you can run information on just that group to see if the teaching was successful or if adjustments need to be made. So what to do next? Look at the focus skills and compare to your upcoming pacing calendar to see that you have instruction planned for those areas. Identify your low English language learners. Consider giving them the STAR 360 in Spanish. Look at the differences between their Spanish scores and the scores when they took the test in English. This can give you a good idea if their needs are language-based or truly skill-based. Discuss with your inclusion teachers how to work with your low Lexile reading level students. How do texts need to be adjusted so that they are working at an appropriate Lexile level? Ensure that you're using the scaffolds, graphic organizers, and other resources found in your textbook or through Elevation and strategies that are appropriate to the students' needs. Also consider how you're going to push those students that are in the high green areas, your mastery students. What can you do to extend learning and take it to the next level for them? So in summary, we looked at the Instructional Planning Class Report, the State Standards Mastery Report, STAR Student Progress Monitoring, the STAR Diagnostic Report. We discussed how to do grouping through the Monitor Student Mastery Dashboard and some next steps that you can take with these reports. Thank you for listening. Hope you found this helpful.